I feel impressed to announce that among all of the temples we are constructing, we plan to rebuild the Nauvoo Temple. It will be a while before it happens, but the architects have begun their work. And the new building will stand as a memorial to those who built the first such structure there on the banks of the Mississippi. I think rebuilding the Nauvoo Temple is one of the most exciting things to go on right now. When I heard the announcement, just an electric shock went through me. Just all of us looked at each other and we couldn't believe it. I think it just shows how much the church has grown in, in every way. It's a great thing to be a part of. Uh, it's a great time to be alive, be a, be a member of the church. That was the temple that was built, and so much suffering went in by the saints, and, uh, and it was burnt. It was destroyed, and uh, it was just wonderful to know, and I'm sure they would be pleased to know that it was being rebuilt. There's great significance, not only to the church, but to the world, that the Nauvoo Temple is being reconstructed. It was there that the temple ordinances were revealed and the purposes of them. And Joseph Smith, though a very young man at the time, received the supernal revelation indicating that these things were from before the foundation of the world, and that this was the fullness of the priesthood being given to these people. The fact that we can go back now, after all of these years, and reconstruct the Nauvoo Temple is a fulfillment and at once a beginning of sacred and holy things for the whole human family. The history of temples and of temple building goes back much earlier than the Nauvoo era. Temples have been a part of God's plan for his children from the time of the Old Testament. In the wilderness of Sinai, the Lord commanded Moses to build a portable tabernacle. Here, the people of Israel gathered to make covenants through the priesthood, which were essential for salvation. After the Israelites settled in the Promised Land, the Lord gave instructions to construct a temple. Jesus Christ himself spent much time in the temple at Jerusalem. He protected its sanctity and referred to it as his Father's house. In every ancient society, the central feature was the temple. And in the Old Testament, from the time of the Exodus through the destruction of the temple by the Romans, the temple defined Israelite and Jewish history. We're just now beginning to understand how important the temple was in early Christianity as well. And in restored Christianity, one would not be surprised to find that the temple is the central feature of that faith as well. When Joseph Smith was called by the Lord to reestablish Christ's ancient church on the earth, this restoration included the building and use of temples. After much sacrifice, the impoverished Latter-day Saints obeyed the Lord's command and completed this temple in Kirtland, Ohio, in 1836. But persecution forced them to abandon it only two years later. They fled to Missouri and eventually to Illinois. Here, on mosquito-infested swamps on the banks of the Mississippi, the saints drained the land, surveyed streets, and built the city of Nauvoo. By 1844, Nauvoo had become one of the largest communities in Illinois. While establishing this city, the Lord commanded the saints to build yet another temple. It would become known as the Nauvoo Temple. In the 1840s, a building of this size, of this nature, of this construction, uh, did not exist in frontier America. But this was a building to their God. It was a building that the prophet Joseph Smith had seen in vision, and they wanted to build it just how he had seen it. 
the building was completed in just slightly over five years, which is truly remarkable. This is not brick on brick. This is cut and polished stone on cut and polished stone. And this is from a workforce that had incredible adversity, uh, weather, persecution, poverty. Some women were known to give away their hat, their shoes, their gloves, their mittens, anything so that they might also contribute to this great temple. But as they labored, persecution increased. Joseph Smith was killed, and enemies of the church threatened to destroy Nauvoo. The saints knew they would have to leave to find peace. They knew they would have to abandon yet another house of God. But being commanded by the Lord to complete this building and dedicate it, they were determined to do so. By 1845, portions of the temple were dedicated and sacred ordinance work began within its walls. This work was carried forward through night and day until the saints were forced to leave their city. I can see the people in 1846, the wagons on that bitter, bitter cold day going down Parley Street to the water's edge, getting on a barge, moving across the Mississippi River up onto the higher ground, and looking back on this sacred structure which they had labored so hard to build, and realizing that never in this life would they see it again. It is difficult to imagine their emotions. <laughs> 